been fascinated by how tissues make and replace dying cells and how they repair themselves. And it's these fundamental processes that are at the roots of uh, a number of different human diseases, including cancers. And it's these processes then that I've been most interested in, in trying to understand in the course of my career. I'm being recognized for the fundamental discoveries of, uh, of the first stem cells, tissue stem cells, which uh, are the stem cells of the skin. And over the years, we've identified where these stem cells are in the skin and learned about their special properties and identified how these stem cells communicate with neighbors in the skin to be able to know when to make tissue, when to make epidermis, hair follicles, sebaceous glands, sweat glands, and then ultimately what goes awry when these stem cells start to acquire mutations that will give rise to various different human disorders such as uh, skin cancers. And so because these were the first stem cells taken from a tissue and uh, able to be propagated endlessly in the laboratory, our characterization of those stem cells really provided a platform for uh, the early studies of what are tissue stem cells, what do they do, and how do they do it. One of the most exciting areas for me right now is that we've been looking at inflammatory skin disorders, disorders like psoriasis and atopic dermatitis, some of the most common types of inflammatory disorders, um, in fact, some of the most common types of human conditions, we've learned that they retain a memory of their inflammatory experiences. And this is packaged into their nucleus. And so we're trying to understand the details of that inflammatory memory with the hope looking forward that in the future, perhaps we can treat some of these types of diseases with uh, an eraser of memory rather than with the current immunosuppressive drugs which really have many deleterious side effects. We think that the memory that we're unearthing is really one that's going to be broadly applicable to a variety of different disorders.